Former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party made a history Tuesday when Clinton became the first woman nominated to run for president by a major U.S. political party. But as much as the Democrats want to celebrate, there are challenges ahead in uniting the party as Clinton prepares to take on Republican Donald Trump in the general election. VOA national correspondent Jim Malone has more from Philadelphia. Good afternoon, delegates. Are we ready to make some history? Philadelphia is no stranger to history, and on Tuesday it added another chapter, the first woman nominated for president by a major U.S. political party. All in favor of the motion say aye. Democrats officially nominated Clinton after the traditional roll call of the states, setting off a celebration inside the convention hall. The nominee later thanked the delegates via satellite from her home in New York. This is really your victory. This is really your night. Earlier, former President Bill Clinton brought the delegates to their feet with an impassioned appeal on behalf of his wife. I hope you'll elect her. Those of us who have more yesterdays than tomorrow tend to care more about our children and grandchildren. The reason you should elect her is that in the greatest country on earth, we have always been about tomorrow. Your children and grandchildren will bless you forever if you do. God bless you. Thank you. And in a bid for party unity, it was Clinton's former rival, Bernie Sanders, who urged his followers to join behind the former Secretary of State. I move that all votes, all votes cast by delegates be reflected in the official record. And I move that Hillary Clinton be selected as the nominee of the Democratic Party for President of the United States. But in a sign of lingering party tensions, scores of Sanders delegates and supporters staged a convention walkout into a nearby media tent where they held a silent protest. Michael Grom is a Sanders delegate from Ohio. They were representing that they have no voice in this democracy. They felt that they could completely shut out. Our, our, our democracy has been taken over by corporations. Despite the discord, Clinton delegate Janet Buskey of Alabama was thrilled with the nomination. All the rights denied to blacks, all the rights denied to women, we're sort of coming full circle, and I see a complete America. With much of this week's focus on Democrats, Republican Donald Trump still has been busy on the campaign trail. Trump went after Hillary Clinton's record on military veterans Tuesday during a speech in North Carolina. We know how she takes care of the veterans. Just look at her invasion of Libya and her handling of Benghazi, a disaster. On Wednesday, the Democratic delegates will hear from President Barack Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, and Clinton's vice presidential running mate, Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. Hillary Clinton will address the convention on Thursday. Jim Malone, VOA News, at the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia.